Hey, so what's up guys? We're at the 7-Eleven in Apopka and I'm with... Sierra. Sierra, again, my name is Rich. Nice to meet you. Just gonna ask you a few questions. Um, what do you think the purpose of life is? Um, gosh. I'd say having fun, living your life. Having fun. Do you think we go somewhere when we die? Like, do you think that we have a soul that goes somewhere? Um, yeah, I think so. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Um, I'm not a super like religious person I was when I was younger I went to church and stuff like that but um, you know I grew up and I'm not exactly sure about everything but I think that you know something happens when we die uh, yeah I agree too May I you know I believe there's a higher power do you believe in a higher power like like something that can that create like controls everything yeah uh, most definitely um, once again, what that is, I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but I definitely think that there is a you know a higher power that you know controls things for us. What if the higher power right now couldn't like you could you could encounter his tangible presence? Like so, I I studied voodoo, santeria, um, a lot of shamanism, crystals. I had thousands of dollars. I was actually I went to Haiti, New Orleans. I was deep into a lot of stuff. Like when I say deep, I mean like deep. And um. The Lord actually brought me out of that. I had an encounter with Jesus. I had I had studied Islam, Buddhism, all that. I used to actually wear a three hundred dollar evil eye from Africa, and it never it never warded off evil. It actually just made me more depressed. And I used to have altars with statues, all that stuff. And it wasn't until I had an encounter with Jesus Christ, a tangible encounter, not in the church, in my apartment, when I asked who who the higher power was that changed everything. I got filled with the peace. There's a lot of people in the church. They don't have a relationship with God. It's not religion. It's relationship. The church don't save you. Reading the Bible don't save you. Uh, none of that saves you. It's actually having a conversation with God, like where you speak and you listen, and you can have an actual relationship with Him. That's why you were so highlighted. When I said you look familiar, that means the Lord has already shown me you in the Spirit already. I'm actually a pastor. I preach in Jordans with fitteds, like, and we believe in the Word of God. We believe in all that. We're not religious. We go in the streets, Christian rap. We win souls and we cast devils out and heal the sick. I'm gonna tell you something. The, the witchcraft I used to do used to keep me so bound and anger. Do you deal with anger? Sometimes, yeah. You're loving in your heart, but you do get this anger that comes from your father. Yeah, he, he went through a lot, so yeah, he definitely deals with it. His father also had, had that same issue. What happens is it's generational. It's not like he's an evil person, he's not. There's real demons. I want you to experience the Holy Spirit right now. I'm so confident that you will feel his tangible presence, I, that I will back up and pray for you. I won't even touch you. And the Holy Spirit will touch you. And, I'm, and before we do this, I want to let you know that that and that don't protect you. It actually is a checkpoint for demons. That if you take that off, and you take that off and you repent, you're going to experience love and joy. You're going to feel peace. And you're going to know that God is real. I'm not, I'm not like one of those crazy pastors. Come to my church. Like, you can come. I, you know what's crazy? Our church is right there. <laughs> Faith and Power Worship Center. So you can come to our church. There's a whole bunch of young people. How old are you? Like 22? Uh, yeah. 20, how old are you? 22? 22. Is that, isn't, that, isn't that weird how I knew that? Why do I do this? Because I was, I had, bro, I had the voodoo breed beads on, the evil eyes, the hamshas. I had all that. I had altars with statues, putting salt in corners, taking ritual baths, doing rituals, going to voodoo priests and warlocks that were sacrificing animals to summon demons into the spirit realm. That stuff don't protect you. They don't protect you. I'm telling you. So are you down to take that off? And then also those the chakra bracelets too. All right, watch this. Are you recording? Yeah. So our sister, she's a she's a very kind soul. She's very loving, pure. But again, like like just like how I was before I came to Christ, and a lot of people we don't know. There's a hamsha and the evil eye. The Bible says my people will die for lack of knowledge, but today she was informed, and I guarantee you when I pray for her, she's going to experience the Holy Spirit and the love that she that she needs and deliverance. So, like, what we do, we just throw it on the floor. You want to step on it? Want to step on it? Want to stomp on it? Yeah, like that. Go ahead. Hey, hey, yeah, we, that's what we do to the devil. We step on his neck because we hate the devil. We hate, these demons, can, they got to flee. Satan is a real being. He has a satanic kingdom, and, and these kingdom, the kingdom is militant and highly structured. And there's many of them. There's so many. There's countless demons, there's, but there's, there's also countless angels. The devil is not a polar opposite to Jesus. Jesus is in control of everything. Does that make sense? So I'm going to pray for you. Watch this. 
I'm going to back up. I want you to just relax. Put your hands down and just close your eyes and receive it, okay? I want you to say this. Say, Jesus, I give my life to you. Say, I surrender. I surrender. If you're real. If you're real. Show me. Show me. I want to know the highest power. I want to know the highest power. Free me from every demonic oppression. Free me from every demonic oppression. And Holy Spirit, touch me. And Holy Spirit, touch me. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay, stay relaxed right there. Eyes closed. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to back up to show you how real this is, okay? Watch this. Holy Spirit, I pray right now. Touch her right now. Encounter her right now. Right now. More. 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 What did you feel, sis? Dizzy. And did you feel a touch? Yeah. Like a presence. Where did you feel the touch? Around here. Your, your head, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay hands on you. You're going to feel a release. Watch this. Say, say this. Say, I renounce the spirit of anger. I renounce the spirit of anger. I forgive my father. I forgive my father. I forgive my mother. I forgive my mother. And anyone who's hurt me. And anyone who's hurt me. Jesus, wash me with your blood. Jesus, wash me with your blood. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you died on the cross. You were buried. You were buried. And you rose on the third day. And you rose on the third day. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. All right, you ready? All right, I'm gonna pray for you now. You ready? Father God, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray right now. Every spirit of anger has to go right now. All of it go. Right now, come out of her mind, come off her body. She's forgiven. I command every unclean spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way. What'd you feel? Like I stretched. I don't know, I feel like I stretched. Like, like weight came. You feel loose. Mm -hmm. You feel peaceful. Mm -hmm. I can see it in your eyes, it shifted. That's Jesus. He loves you. And he wants to have a relationship with you. Again, it's not religion. I promise you it's the best thing you'll ever do. Because everything in the world, they ain't got nothing to offer you. You want a man of God, that's, you're going to marry your husband. You know what I'm saying? Like an actual family. You don't want to go through these trials and unnecessary trials. Like, look at the people around like that, that, that smoke and drink and pop pills and all that stuff. Like, I, that was me. A lot. I was empty. You're 22. I'm, I'm 32. But I went from 22 to 29, trying to figure, like, from 17 to 29, just trying to figure out life empty I'm telling you the people around you it's like an emptiness everyone's empty and it's like who could do the more evil and it's like we don't even know it's evil it's like so normalized to where it's like it's normal like you know what I'm saying like it's like if you're not that you're lame yeah. you know what I'm saying I, at one point you, you you had a relationship with God like you loved God at one point and you kind of left him come back to your first love the name of our church is first love church amen nice to meet you